Hey, what's up, Accelerant? Hey, today I've got man Cody Factor here. He is going to do the spicy hot sauce challenge. Now, Cody, you're not, you don't like love spicy, do you? I do not. Okay, no. so like spiciest thing you would eat, go. Jalapeno poppers. Maybe. Depends, <laughs> Depends those, who makes those them. Those literally <laughs> have made no spice to them. They take the seeds out of them, man. Okay, so basically, you like flavor, not so much spice. I follow. Okay. okay, okay. So, easy. I didn't go hard on you because I knew this. So the skull wheel unit. Yeah. Okay, so this one literally does not, it's called tiger sauce. It doesn't even show up on the Scoville unit. Okay. Okay, so if you think that one's hot, then this one is 3,700 on the Scoville unit. So let's kick off. We're gonna start with tiger and we're gonna come down. Um, basically, this challenge is simple. Whoever can make it to the last and survive without dying. Okay, right. uh, at any time you wanna give up, just leave. Okay, may the best man win. I am the only man here, apparently. All right, starting with tiger sauce. Doesn't smell spicy. Nope. Three, two, dude, I see. I see <laughs> legit peppers in this. <laughs> They're in there. <laughs> They're there, all right, go. It's, it's not bad, it's, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, a little dry. Uh, so, Whoa, I tried this earlier just a little bit on my finger, and I I did not think that was hot. A spoonful spoon of it. <laughs> you can't breathe in when you do it. <clears throat> no, okay. Whew. That was one. Uh, how do you feel? I'm, I feel good. It had a little, little, little zing to it. I'm pretty sure somebody lied to me. That, that, that hit me in the back a lot, a lot harder than what I thought it would. All right. Okay, what's next? All right. Woo! All right, Red Hots. Everybody, everybody's trying to Red Hots. Yep. Red Hots to me is like, the closest thing is like spicy ketchup. My throat's still like tingling from that last one. <laughs> I do not believe that that is low. All right, three, two, one. Ooh. See, that one got you? I got it at the top of my throat a little bit. It kind of <clears throat> that one did nothing for me. It tastes like tomato juice. It wasn't as hot as that one, I don't think. That one tastes like tomato juice to me. So how are you feeling? We're two oh. down. You want to tap out? Nope. Or I'm pretty sure you should. Nope. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win. <laughs> okay, we have the Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. And on a positive good. note, if you're watching your diet, it's zero carbs. I am watching my diet and. I now feel like <laughs> I'm losing weight just trying this. All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm not even counting. I'm already sweating a little bit. You're blowing, you're sucking your snot. That's disgusting. Three, two, one. That is disgusting. It says vinegar on it, and that's why it tasted. That's <laughs> literally all your this. You're coughing over there. Yeah. Vinegar. That one is disgusting. That's not going Don't, on my burritos. Do not eat that. Not going on my burritos whatsoever. Like, I can't even say it's truly hot. Nope. It's legitimately disgusting. <laughs> so now I'm afraid for the rest of the, <laughs> of the Louisiana sauce, because we've got two more to try. Fair enough. All right, let's go Texas Pete. Whew, I, I've got so much saliva in my mouth right now. I can't even talk. No, mine's uh, sticky. It got a it, it got a kick at the end, really. <laughs> <clears throat> what was that? It got a kick at the end. <clears throat> gotta clear the throat. That was <laughs> that was dry. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, All right. Uh. <laughs> that one got you good. Um. Oh wow. <laughs> Texas Pete, a lot hotter than what they say online. Yep. And it's all at the very end. My lips are burning. How are you feeling? I'm all right, I think. Not me, my tongue is burning. My, my, my chest is burning, but my mouth isn't burning I'm like, for some reason. I'm like sediment on my tongue. I'm gonna quit doing that and just gulp it. 
clear your sinuses. By Lord, that's hot. <clears throat> All right, what's next? Oh, Crystal. Crystal hot sauce. This is also from Louisiana, so I don't know what they're doing in Louisiana that they have to have hot sauce. But apparently the craw crawfish needs this. I don't know. Go. Oh, I like that one. That one was a lot better than that the one tasted beef. really good. That one was a lot better. Oh, that tasted. All right. It kind of washed the last one down. Yeah, I'm, not gonna I'm it. kind of proud of that one. My nose is running. My nose is running. All right. What's next? Tapatio. That is tapateo. 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 Yeah. Tapatio. Hold on. We have a Hispanic lady running, running camera. How do you say it? Fart. Fart. <laughs> that means she doesn't like it, nor does she know how. Tapatio. Tape we'll call it tapatio. It's tapatio. All right. What's this? Round six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. His, his cheeks are getting I'm red. burping right now. His cheeks are getting a little red. Yeah, I'm shocked. He was talking like Big Dog earlier. All right, let's go. Cheers. It's not in the right order. No, that should be at the end. Yeah. We're going to do this. That should have been there. Yep. Just saying, we're going to move on with this. Right here. That, that has no spice. It's got a weird flavor, but no spice. Louisiana Supreme Jalapeno. Are your lips hot? No, top of my tongue's getting hot. I apparently lick my lips way too much because my lips are on fire. All right, let's do this, go. I hated that. Really? Yeah. It's not spicy at all. It had a good follow with jalapeno. Not hot, but the jalapeno taste. Yeah, it definitely had a jalapeno taste. It had a taste. good follow. Mixed with a lot of vinegar. Yeah. A lot of vinegar. It needs to be switched. Yeah. Because I think that was hotter than that. This is how we're feeling. It's now become a game of switch, which one's hotter yep. than the other. Because apparently he's not going to willingly lose. I'm like, I thought he would. Nope, can't Same. lose a pass to Willie. And I can't lose Will to anyone. It makes me feel bad. I ch Cholula. Cholula. How do you say this one? Cholula. 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 There's a Spaniard boy in a window. Pretty sure that's. Thought that was my grandma. So there was a Spaniard person in a window. Um, it's got a wooden top. Apparently, that seals in flavor better. Apparently. Two thousand years later. Oh! <laughs> Come on, no more. One eternity later. At this point, I can't smell. Three, two, one. At the end, yeah. at the end you get a little bit, man, but I really, the face is getting warm though. I know, but I'm feeling the heat, but I hate to heat. break it. Maybe I went too easy on you. I think you did. I went basics and thinking that you would really struggle. Where are we at? <clears throat> Tabasco. Now this is my favorite hot sauce out of everything. My nose has officially started running. <laughs> Tabasco, the real stuff. I hope you die. <laughs> I don't know if I legally can say that on camera. Yeah, I did, did. and you Lisa's did. gonna keep it there because I want you to know how I feel. I'm really disappointed. And you should be impressed. I'm disappointed that I should have got sriracha and wasabi. Should have. Three, two, one. I breathed it out my nose, I think. <laughs> I really think I breathed it out my nose. Oh, what happened? <coughs> is my Tabasco gonna knock you out? Nope. I feel like dude, your face is bright red. I think it went out my nose a little bit. 
<laughs> Why are you feeling <laughs> I'm good. I, I don't know what I did there. <laughs> don't believe me. <laughs> You're over here coughing. <clears throat> that good, huh? I'm good. It's good. All right, we've got one more. And I just got to make it for one more. It is spicy. I'm My lips not. are on fire. I don't know. You should rub some on your lips so I'm you don't have a bit. Like, I gotta quit licking my lips. Good <laughs> lord, have mercy on my life. I, I got so <laughs> much slime in my mouth. <clears throat> That's the last one. I know. Let's do it. My lips are on fire, bro. Okay. This is Louisiana pepper sauce with Tabasco added, so it's this plus. Their jalapeno sauce mixed with the, it. The Scoville scale? This one, the Scoville, was 3700 Welcome to fatherhood. The spicy one. The spicy one. You now can be a dad. <laughs> you can now be a dad. Just put a hair on my face. Yeah, but not your head. Not your head. I'm just saying. <laughs> so if Erica likes that, you may, may or not want to try it. Okay. You want to okay. tap out? No, I'm not tapping out. Bro, that's... Bro, thick. What are you waiting on, Christmas? Look how thick that is. <laughs> it's like orange snot. That is, that is so thick. <gasps> okay. I got more than you significantly. I just want to make that clear. I can't let that happen. <laughs> Three, oh, all right, two, yeah. one. If you don't breathe it, it helps. <coughs> <coughs> that one hurts the back of your throat. <clears throat> okay. Son of a donkey's rear end. How's your throat? It's hot. Yeah, it's hot, Willie. Really. Did that one hit you? It's, it's, it's hot. My lips are now burning. Ah, oh, good. Oh, that's not out of Mama didn't raise quitter, though. You made it all through. That means we do have to have another one. This is the deal. If you want Cody and I to do it again and maybe do the world's hottest chocolate or uh, the so the so of Satan, the toe of Satan, or something like that, shoot, we'll get a ghost pepper and take a bite of it. Let's go. A hundred likes. We will do it again and we will step it up. We'll start with sriracha. Okay. I've got the pictures now. We'll go, what, to World Hot Class Chocolate? Yep, let's do it. All right. Comment All right. who's gonna win. What's up, Accelerate? Welcome to the very last week of this series called Royalty. Man, it's been a wild ride as we <laughs> dove into the life of, not necessarily the life of David, but a, a season. particular season of, of David, which started as a shepherd, anointed king, Shepherd, Uber Eats, DoorDash for his brothers, to meeting Goliath, to saying, I'm the one that'll take Goliath, to meeting Saul, and Saul saying, oh, you're not good enough, but David finally saying, no, the God in me is, is bigger than the giant right. out there, to now he's face to face with this, this giant in his life called Goliath. And so when we look at the story at the very beginning, um, have you ever watched a sports movie where there's like an underdog and everybody wants Rudy, the underdog to win? Radio, I could name him. I love, I love. He loves a good underdog, underdog story. story. So when we look at David and Goliath, we would usually think like when we looked at them physically that David was the underdog in this situation. Goliath yeah. was huge. Okay, he had lots of confidence. He had Ten lots foot. of armor. You know, but he had something missing in his life that mm -hmm. David had. And that's what was totally the game changer that actually made Goliath the underdog and nobody knew it. So if we were to look at it in military strategy, like Goliath was like a grunt. He made a lot of loud noises. He made a <laughs> lot of threats. He acted big and, and boisterous. But then here comes David, a lowly military term sniper literally sits up on the hill Special knowing that he's the best thing that ever came across that <laughs> field because of who lived inside of him yeah comes out assassinates goliath with ease because of the confidence that god has given him right but he didn't just automatically have that confidence there yeah. were things that god had brought him through up to that point 
to get him ready for this. Mm -hmm. And so at the very beginning of the story, when he was anointed king, but then he wasn't king yet, and he had to go back out to being a shepherd, even though he knew it was coming, like David had to be humble. And that was the first thing that God really worked out in his heart is how to have a humble heart. And then after that, we talked about how David had to find his identity in Christ. You have to find your identity. What did God call you to do? What are the gifts and talents that he's given you? What are the passions that he's given you? And so David had to be confident in who God had made him, not who Saul wanted him to be or Mm -hmm. who the army thought he should be, but be confident in who God made him to be. And then he had to walk confidently into the fight that was very overwhelming you know, just looking at the situation, but yeah, he, a whole army was freaked out. <laughs> yeah, he knew that God in him was greater than any giant that he was going to face. And so he held that promise in his heart and he walked into that and he slayed that giant, yeah. you know, with, with, ease, with ease, with ease. So, so the title of this, this message or this week is simply dropping giants. Yeah. Man, David was ready to drop some giants. So, the very first thing that can cause you yeah. to lose the battle of dropping giants um, is fear. Uh, fear is one of those those things that, man, it can terrify you. I can tell you, my experience, I'm deathly afraid of heights. Like, it freaks me out um, to a point that it, it I freeze. Like, it paralyzes it. And, and, man, fear does that. And, man, I... In every moment, if you allow fear yeah. to become number one, you will you will not win. So our very first point is, whatever you fear becomes your God. Yeah. A lot like me when I'm a, being afraid of heights, in that moment, the only thing I can think of is the fear of falling and the fear of failing in that moment. Mm-hmm. Man, whatever you give glory to or... I, Attention. Glory or attention or the spotlight, man, in that moment, you lose yeah. everything else that's in the spotlight. It's the only thing. And so fear will become your God in that moment, which will immediately cause you to lose the battle of dropping giants in your life. Yeah. In 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind man when we allow god to be the center and yeah. be the spotlight man we are able to love like no other we're able to have the power to conquer everything that stands in our way and it allows us to be of sound mind or a peace right. peace of mind so so when we are walking in fear then we get all inside our head basically and so if you have a situation in your life that is stressing you out that is making you lose sleep, that is making you so fearful that you are paralyzed mm-hmm. emotionally, um, you need to give it to God. Yeah, absolutely. Okay? Because in the Bible when it says God didn't give you the spirit of fear, that means that these giants aren't as big as God. So that's point number two. These giants aren't nearly as big as they seem. Okay, God is bigger than any giant in your mm-hmm. life. He can bring you through any battle in your life. He can make anything that looks like a big pile of garbage turn out for good. God is that awesome. And so we have to trust him. We have to be confident in what he is trying to do in our hearts during those hard seasons. And trusting that, you know what, God, I'm going to walk with you. I'm going to trust you. I'm going to have faith in you. And I know that you're going to you're going to take care of this giant in my life because I can't do it. But I know that you are greater than any giant in my life. So, so Court, when we look at the, the story of David and Goliath, um, what would you say Goliath, his focus was on? What like, did he trust? I think Goliath trusted material things. You know, he yes. was trusting in his armor, in his size, in his... Um, Loudness. <laughs> yeah. Like, like his <laughs> so, sword. You yeah, and it. all the physical. And David was trusting... And the God inside of him. He was trusting in the spirit of God, going before him, making a path, preparing the way for him to be victorious in that situation. Even when I know, you know, when he took that first step, it was probably daunting at first. But he had to really ground himself in in knowing that God has gone before me. God's got my back and he's not going to let me fail because he brought me. I was born to slay this giant. 
and there are giants in your life that you were born to slay. And yeah. God is not going to let you fail. He's not going to That's leave huge. you That's in that huge. dark situation. And so we have to really assess our lives, especially when we have something that is making us fearful or stressing us out and say, what is this giant? And what are the verses in the Bible that I can use to slay it? What, it, what am I going to stand on? What promises? Yes. One of the, the, the things that I see when I look at this, this story, and, and you specifically say that, that Goliath was looking at uh, his attributes, right. where David was looking at God's attributes, Oh, attributes. where David was looking <laughs> at his attributes. Man, the biggest thing that I see is it's a decision. Yeah. Man, Goliath decided to trust himself. When you decide above all else, when you face your giant to trust in yourself, I guarantee you will fail. Right. It, it'll happen. Now, does that mean that, that, that you're a failure and that you're never going <laughs> to win? No. But I'm going to tell you that it's going to be harder and it's going to be a battle that most likely you're going to lose. But when you decide, again, a decision right. to trust God above everything else, I promise you, just like in 2 Timothy 1 and, and 7, like when you decide to have God as your number one and you decide that, yeah. then you will win because of the attributes that God has given you. Because of his power. Right. So there are some of you that you've never decided to even make God the Lord of your life. Like yeah. you've never decided to accept him into your life. And if that's you, we want to pray with you right now. Because you cannot start dropping giants in your life if you haven't accepted Christ into your heart. And so if that's you, why don't you bow your head and pray with us right now. Jesus. Jesus. I love you. I love you. And I'm giving my giants to you. And I'm giving my giants to you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Give me boldness. Give me boldness. And help me live for you. And help me live for you. In your name. In your name. Amen. Amen. So if you did that today, like we are so excited. That is the first step in dropping Very giants in your life. And overcoming fear. But there are some of you that you're like, you know what, I have a relationship with Jesus, but there are situations in my life and man, they're just, they're overwhelming, overwhelming. me. Like I am crippled by fear over a situation. And like Willie said, we have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. It is intentional. We have to make a choice to say, you know what, Satan, you are not going to overwhelm me in this situation because I know that my trust and my hope is in Jesus Christ and yeah. he's going to bring me through this situation stronger and I might look like the underdog but my God is not the underdog yeah and so if that's you we want to pray with you today because God has given you power and love yeah. and a sound mind not fear so if you're sitting in a situation that's full of fear then you need to remind that giant that your God is bigger absolutely so you want to pray man, for I everybody will. that's facing that giant Man, Jesus, we love you. God, I, I pray right now for every one of these, these students that are facing giants in their life that, man, they're overcome with fear or they just don't know the next step. God, I pray that you would meet them where they're at. God, I pray that they would have the strength and boldness to stand up and say, not today, giant. The God that lives inside of me is bigger than you. God, I pray right now that they would put their trust and their, their hope and their faith in you alone. God, we love you in your name. Amen. Amen. And if you've accepted Jesus today, or, man, you want us to pray with you about giants that yeah. are in your life, man, text us, message us on Facebook, Snapchat the church, call the church, get a hold of us because we, we want to pray with you. We want to celebrate with you. And, man, for the announcement we have, we do it every week, is Zoom, Thursday nights at 8 o'clock. Yeah. If you want that link, and we're trying to get the link out to as many of you you guys. But if you don't have that link and want that link, message us. We yeah, want we're to. pushing it out on our social media yep. on Thursdays. So jump on any of those platforms and, and your link will be there. So we can't wait to see you guys tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. All right. Peace out, guys.